Hey folks, it's AK here from aktech.it and today we are covering how to get our Honeywell thermostat Wi-Fi enabled. So if you've got one of these uh, smart compatible thermostats from Honeywell, but you cannot, you know, use your app with it, that's probably because you're missing an internet gateway. So I'm just going to walk you through on what we need to do. But first and foremost, it has to be a Honeywell compatible uh, thermostat. So I'm going to show you a quick trick here. So if you've got one of these Honeywell thermostats, one way to find out if you've got the right equipment, you head over to the menu and you go down to the dealer information and just remember this date code. This is the model I have. It's a THX series uh, or something. I'm not sure what the other ones are, but just remember that dealer code. You go to installer options and you enter that dealer code. So for me, it was 1643, hit done. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the wireless device manager and view connected devices. So normally you're gonna see this thermostat and equipment interface module. So if you've got those two, this thermostat and the equipment interface module, that is great. The gateway is what I've connected now. So if you look at this picture right here, this is what your in equipment interface module or EIM is supposed to look like. And this is usually on top of where your AC unit sits. You probably have that connected there. So if you have that, then all you have to do is head on to Amazon and buy one of these things. It's called the Red Link Internet Gateway. So once you order it, it's very easy to install. It's about 50 bucks. So once you've gotten it, I'll show you how to uh, hook it up. All right, folks, so now that you've gotten the Honeywell Internet Gateway, it's very simple to install. Go ahead and plug up the Ethernet port that you get with it to your router or switch and go ahead and plug in the power. This doesn't have to be relatively close to the thermostats. It could be anywhere in your house as long as you don't have a huge house and the signal doesn't reach. Uh, once you plug it up, the power button will come up and the Internet light will blink. This red link light will not be connected until you connect to the thermostat. So once you've got this uh, connected and this internet light is blinking green, then we're gonna go back to the thermostat. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the installer options. And like I said, just remember your code from whatever your dealer um, date code was, and that's gonna be your password. So once you're here, you go to wireless device manager and you go to add device. When you go to add device, it's going to take a few minutes or maybe a 30 seconds or so to show up. And this screen will show up and it says no device is added. So at this point, you go ahead and go back to the internet gateway. And on the gateway, you want to go ahead and hit the connect button. That's when the red link button starts blinking. And then you can go back to your thermostat. And on your thermostat, it will say gateway has been added. On mine, it says replace because I've already had this added. So once it's there, all you've got to go do is hit done. And it says, do you have any more red link accessories? Just hit no. Then you can go to view connected devices and you should see your thermostat, the gateway, which is what we added, and then the equipment interface module. At this point, you've done all the hard work and now all you've got to do is install the app and get the equipment registered. So all you've got to do is on the back of this guy, you're going to see a Mac ID and CRC code. So these are the two things that you need. Once you grab those, you can go ahead and register on the website. You're going to go to mytotalcomfortconnect.com and go ahead and select your region and go ahead and sign up a new account. So once you've got the new account, it'll ask you to log in. And I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my account. And at this point, uh, I've already got my thermostats added, but you wanna go to add device. And when you go to add device, this is where you type in your Mac ID and CRC code. So once you go ahead and do that, it'll ask you to set one of your thermostats to the heat point, 71 degrees. It'll register your device and that should be it. Then you want to go ahead and grab the app from the app store. So at this point, it should be pretty simple. Uh, you go ahead and download the app and get it connected. On your left, you see, you see the Android app right here. And on the right, it is the Apple app. Works both for iPhones 
and um, Samsung, Android tablets, phones, etc. So hopefully this uh, video was informative and you're able to now control your air conditioning from the comfort of your phone. Um, if you guys like the video, go ahead and please hit like, subscribe. And if you have any other ideas for future videos, please go ahead and let me know. Thank you guys for watching and see y'all next time. Have a good one.